All right, today's video is on a 2003 Lexus ES300. We have a no power situation. I have hooked up my scanner to the OBD port here. I was scanning it and it's asking, no, it's not giving me automatic what this vehicle is, so we'll go to new vehicle. 03. Lexus ES300 3.0 automatic. <clears throat> That's us. Six codes. Um, system to lean. System to lean. System to lean. Mount sensor circuit two. Mount circuit sensor one. System to lean. All right. Okay, so I took a picture of all the codes, so I'd have a memory of them. I'm going to go ahead and erase the system and see which codes come back. I thought this car had a misfire, but I believe it's having just some knock sensor issues. Uh, about three months ago, she ran this car so hot it shut off. Check in so that goes away. Anyway, she ran it so hot that the um, car shut off. And it had a misfire after that, but it finally came back around and started working again. So I told her if it started misfiring, just let me know and we'd inspect it further. This is what we got, there's no power. It's barely idling. I'm not pushing the gas or anything. The car's doing that on its own, it almost stalls. I won't push the gas, you can see I don't, oh, it died. my foot on the accelerator. Check engine light hasn't come back on yet. Whew. It's hot sitting in this car. Well, this could be the problem. There's a big hole in the uh, intake tube and <clears throat> it's not reading the mass airflow sensor properly. When I pushed it close, it started running fine. When I lit it up, it would start acting up. Let me see if I can get it to do that again. this up. Y'all hear the change in the engine? Starts running good. Not running bad, shaking. <laughs> so, it's probably that. I was supposed to get that part uh, three months ago when her car had broke down and I put the radiator in it. I told her about it, and when I pulled up today, she asked me if I got it, and I totally forgot. So let's see if we can find one locally. Okay. 